I V M. Hey everybody, welcome to another week on the IVM Podcast Network. As I mentioned last week, we're going through this COVID-19 outbreak and because of that recording schedules, we're trying to keep them, but it's a little uneven at this point in time. Beg your intelligence. While you are stuck at home, I think one thing that might be interesting to do is maybe check out some of the complete series that we've done. The Kulaba Cartel, the Woody Woodpecker, Kriyawala Chronicles. These are limited series that are complete. Might be a good time to check out with those. Also want to thank our sponsors this week, HDFC Life and Paytm Money. And with that, let me get you onto your show and uh, stay safe, everyone. The day five, guys, how's it going? Like day five of sitting at home of lockdown in... In Bombay, in Bangalore, in India, at least in some parts of the country, we're following it to the T. So, how's it going for you all? Ouch! You're taking a jibe during our intro. <laughs> Is this the Art. third time we're recording this in different parts of the country and not in a recording studio? The third time, but it's only been five days. What have we been doing the previous two weeks then? I don't know. I've not been going to the studio is all I remember. But <laughs> so, now, <laughs> if for some reason, we haven't been going into a place of work for three weeks. But the actual lockdown, if you look at it, it feels like three weeks, but it's only been five days. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> no, I'm like, I stopped apologizing for the audio quality is how I realize now this is going to be the rest of, I think, April also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, I... Okay, I haven't heard either of the previous two episodes, but I'm sure it sounds good. Our <laughs> <listeners have> been... <laughs> no, that's a, admission of admission. I I can't even say it's guilt. It's just admission. Yeah. <laughs> and I think this 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 quarantine self isolation has made us forget what day it is, what uh, date it is. Somebody told me, I uh, not told me. I read this somewhere that this uh, coronavirus has made a three day week. Yesterday, today, tomorrow. That's all yeah. that is left. Same hmm. tweet I saw. Yeah, exactly what has happened. आज क्या है? आज का दिन बताओ. बस उतना ही याद है. But technically, if you think about it, the isolation has made it just a one-day week, which is tomorrow, because everyone's only looking forward to the next day because it will be closer to the tomorrow. That will be the day when the lockdown ends. So it's only one day. So, yeah, it is. No, but I am. I'm sure. I mean, this is we we are at that level of intellect, Shivram, where we uh, need to engage with uh, deepness. Depth. <laughs> I thought you'll say something smart after that. Ruined <laughs> <laughs> it. <laughs> oh my god! What yeah. what is deeper should be a break at this point. But what episode are we in? At least can we get that straight? Thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. Thirty three. Sup Supre will know. I'm sure Supre knows what episode we're in. Uh, I think this is thirty four. Okay. Okay. So then, hello and welcome to episode thirty four of Football Should Ball, where as you can. Tell by the quality of our audio, we're recording it from our homes yet again. We don't have a name for the episode uh, because I was dissed on social media for trying to come up with names in Hindi of Bollywood movies. So I've passed on that uh, responsibility to either one of y'all. If you want to come up with a name, come up with a name, or we we'll just move on with the episode has no name. But Karthik, uh, just one quick point: the guy mm-hmm. who tweeted also said uh, episode number fifty-six will be a no-brainer. Because you're naming the episode. <laughs> I want to know. Do you know what is a Hindi movie which has the word like which has the number fifty six in it? Uh, what? What is that Vivek Oberoi movie? That one okay, about? Wrong answer. Wrong yeah. answer. So we will take a quick break at this, and by the time uh, all of you laugh at Karthik, we'll be right back after these messages. Advertising is dead. Yep, you heard me right. Advertising is dead. We're all in the content business now. Let's not call it news, TV, radio, etc., etc. It's all content, and we're in the middle of this weirdly exciting phase where all the borders and lines that have been drawn over decades has been swept away by this lovely thing called the internet. We're a show where we don't dwell on just the stuff that is now, but rather the wider stuff about advertising, media, content, and the whole goddamn circus surrounding it. Tune in every Tuesday for our weekly unboxing of the mystery box we used to call advertising. I'm Varun Dugirala, co-founder and content chief at The Glitch, and this is my new podcast, Advertising is Dead. Hello and welcome to Up Tak Chappan. Now I googled it and I could figure out that this Nana Patekar Taro. I'm right now. Nana Patekar only, no? Yeah, yeah. Have you googled yeah, it? Yeah. Then you're right only, na? <laughs> 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 no, but I remember. This is episode oh, this is... number thirty-four. Oh yeah, up to Chappan is coming up in a few weeks' up time. Up to Chotis. Up to Chotis. Yeah, yeah. Up to Chotis. So uh, we we don't I'm... we don't have a name. 
We have a name. I'm uh, firstly, I'm just happy somebody hopes that we have an episode 56 coming up. Mm-hmm. So thank you so much. I uh, <laughs> not that we had lost hope, but then the world is losing hope. So now uh, we have some motivation to go forward. There is a name for this episode, uh, but do you want to explain what this episode is going to be about? Otherwise, this context might be lost. Yeah, okay. We'll we'll do that. What we're going to do in this episode because clearly we don't have football to talk about. Our livelihoods are being taken away from us. So we're going to go. We're going to come up with five or six teams, you know, futsal teams that will play against each other. But we're going to compete with each other. On we'll tell IVM to push this out based on our five or six teams. And the only rule in making your five or six team now is that you have to choose the first letter of your last name, and then then you can only pick players with the same you know theory in mind. That the players also have to have the first letter of your last name. Like it can no. either be their first name or their last name, but it has to begin with either or. So no. I'm Kartik Ayer. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. It has to be the same for you and the player that you choose. Yeah. So uh, we should have maybe discussed this off air when Shivram did not agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's 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 keep this as final. So okay. if your name is if your name is Rahul Gandhi. Uh-huh. Uh, uh and i hope that somebody by the name of rahul gandhi is listening to this podcast because i'm sure he's also not got a lot of things to do yeah, yeah. Uh, then you can only pick players whose last name starts with a g so you can okay. take a gunduzi because i'm sure rahul gandhi would want to take a gunduzi oh yeah gunduzi gundogan like he is nice nice midfield that will be yeah. so what i'll do is i won't follow this rule both of you agree to this rule i'll do whatever <laughs> i want no 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 this is the rule Okay. How are you going to enforce it? Do you know how difficult it is to find players? <laughs> It took a lot of time to find players. I don't want you to come and change the rule right now. No, um, that's why this is the world we're living in. We change the mm-hmm. rules whenever we want. Anyway, the world is. <laughs> is that the only thing we're going to talk about? In no, apart apart from that, we're also going to figure out on uh, about. We're going back into the vault, and we're going to try and. Look back at one season wonders, you know the likes who have just performed just for one season, and we thought will become great. Their FPL prices just rocketed for the next season and during that season where they perform well as well, and then they just fell by the wayside. You don't hear much of them again. And lastly, we're going to finish episode thirty-four. I still don't know what it's called, but we're going to finish episode thirty-four with a little Shivram and Sapre battle that we used to do earlier. The quizzes. So What? I I've given you all 20 quiz? minutes now to prepare for that. Now this is everything. Up to Chappan. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. I was just going to say Ronaldo. <laughs> no, no, no. The 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 episode name therefore is uh, going along with the second part of what Karthik said, which is uh, one season wonders, and we'll talk about uh, a few of them, which all of us thought would do well, but uh, really didn't. And therefore, we're calling this episode uh, as Ashiki. Because it had two fantastic actors in Anu Agarwal, and who was the other Shivram? Rahul Roy. Rahul Roy, correct. Who are one movie wonders? Uh, right. Although Rahul Roy did Junoon and he of did course, a I part. Of course, I was just going to say. Yeah, but it wasn't a great movie. It was just. It was but yeah, tiger. that's the truth. Cool. Tiger. He's a weird tiger. He's not even weird. Okay, forty seconds of fantastic Mo- movie. Movies that have tiger aren't doing so well. <laughs> so let's just keep it at that. So yeah, this is called Ashiki. Watch no, but no, if no, but still jet. But before that, if Virendra, if you're listening in and if you're impressed with that, right? Firstly, I don't like you that much. <laughs> but if you're impressed with that, please tweet to IVM. Please tell Sapre. Please tell Shivram as well that you're a big fan of the name Ashiki for episode thirty. Poor of football, football. But I'm going to start this. Okay, my five aside team. You know what I'm going for because my name is Karthik Ayer, and I am going for goals. Okay, only goals. And my five guys are going to be. Ibrahimovic, obviously, we have to take the greatest player of the this century, not named Messi or Ronaldo. I'm going for Lorenzo Insigne, Chiro Immobile. I'm going for a very Serie A flavor over here with Pipo Inzaghi as well, and I'm going to round it off. Who's going to be my main defender? The only one who's going to track back is Andres Iniesta. So if you score four, you, I score five. If you score six, I score eight. That's the way I'm going nice. for with this entire team. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. This this work has this no work thing has. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what has what has what has it made you, but no, so I'll tell you my reasoning as well. Because when we play five aside, and Shivram will attest to this. Now Shivram is a striker, okay. <laughs> At, uh, but in during when he played in during uh, some leagues, I think in Bombay over the past two years, 
because he's tall and he's big he was made a right back he was made a central defender i think he even kept in goal one time right shivram yeah yeah so i am my your my shivram and my side is ibrahimovic because of his wow. size and his yeah <laughs> i'll take that i'll take that so wow. if, let, let let immobile and insigne score all the goals ibra can just stand at the back over there and be this big imposing figure where nobody can score against he got a red card in the first minute by the way just just <laughs> in case you didn't think of that ibra or me yeah, good both ibra actually you both <laughs> ibra the sporting lisbon player anyway what is your team shivram i can go yeah, yeah so next of course because i don't follow rules rules are for amateurs <laughs> let me start my team with an actual goalkeeper so okay. how about first you give context on why you're not following your the rules like yeah because uh, so my name is shivram parmeshwar and the people whose uh, last names basically have to start with p is the pick i don't have too many options because there are so many people who i can't overlook whose names start with the letter p as opposed to their surname like i'll end up with peters from stoke is what you have pogba you have puyol I mean, he had Pogba. he had Pele as well, man. He could have just yeah, selected Pele. Pele is his first name. Pele is his. <laughs> no, first name. in Brazilian names, everything is counted. Like it's fine. <laughs> it's like when you say Ronaldo, it's, you don't you don't say it's Ronaldo. It's fine. It's cool. It's Kaka. So, so what? Yeah. I'm saying is, I don't care. Let's stick to that <laughs> that part. So I'll start with uh, one of the best keepers. I think, and this is uh, this. I think Sapri will be happy about is Peter Schmeichel in goal because uh, if his progeny is anything to go by. Uh, I think he can still keep really well. I have progeny. Idea. That's another word with P. And here you're sitting so with any, first name. So this is just any words with P. Or <laughs> so Pani, <laughs> poster. So in defense or midfield, you want to call it whatever you want to call it. Paolo Maldini, the one and only. I don't know if this mm. is true, but I've heard this urban legend that Paolo Maldini said this: one life, one wife, one club. Mm. and i don't think anyone has uh, yeah no but it's true. not it's not really it's apparently it's not true that thing it's uh, it's again it's i don't let facts come don't, in the yeah, it's true true but what, what is also a fact and we would like to wish paolo maldini if his fans and him are listening to this podcast he was diagnosed positive coronavirus positive uh, him and his son so yeah. hopefully they're doing they're in isolation and they're doing well at this moment in time so our wishes to maldini as well an absolutely great defender and a very very good choice for shivram's cheat five aside What five was it? Cheat five was it? Yeah. Hey, why cheat? No, 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 no. no. Well, this is wrong. Ha. Huh, so next up is uh, Philip Koku. I don't know if you guys remember him, but mm-hmm. uh, Dutch player, yeah, fantastic player. D- he also Derby County manager. Oh yeah, he is now Derby County manager. <laughs> fantastic player. He's uh, he's I think a dependable person to someone in the middle who will uh, at least pass the ball around. Not like uh, Karthik uh, scored ten thousand goals and uh, <laughs> let nine 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 goals in. Uh, the next player I have, and actually the next two people I have are out and out strikers because you've seen my teams now been a little defensive, but I need two out and out strikers or at least central attacking midfielders or wingers. It's five aside, nothing, everything goes. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, so I want Aubameyang, Oba. and just behind him, supporting striker is Pollard Dybala. He is uh, prone to touching his hand while celebrating. I think that will now change. Touching his face, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, touching his face while celebrating. But now I think that will change. Except when we score ten thousand and one goals against Karthik side, uh, because <laughs> I think this side is destined to win. It's solid everywhere. I mean, it's not like City. You know, it's not front loaded. It is very balanced, and I think this stands a very good chance to win. Yeah. This, this, because Karthik, it's so back loaded now, this team of his needs to go and take take a absolute dump. Somewhere, no, 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 it's no, complete no, cheating. No, All their names no, are of different yeah. letters. <laughs> you know what? He said, "Man City. You know, Man City may or may not get banned next season, but Shivram, your team is definitely banned from playing in this competition." Okay. I have one one important question before I let Sapri go. Uh-huh. Team is back loaded the opposite of front loaded? I know it's side load, na? Is it should be the opposite? A, or... <laughs> washing machine is not the opposite. Yeah. It's different type. Different top load, babe. Up to Chappal. Right. Brought to you by Whirlpool. Is the key is that chalo Kartik has got some essentials so but wait wait i want to i want to step in here with with sapre now huh? so so sapre here's my my thinking okay why why yeah. shivram took five minutes to say his uh, team out okay uh, i got a list of players with p pope pogba pele puyol and perez isn't that a good team 
Absolutely, it is. Yeah. Perez is fantastic, but that's yeah, Pele, uh, brilliant, the best, one of the best strikers. He scored some fifty thousand goals in his you career. You just <laughs> made some new new rules that all Brazilian names count. Yeah, they do. It's what they're called as. Like so you can't. Philippe do... Coutinho can just be Philippe then. No, he's not Philippe. No, he's Coutinho. What's <laughs> it on his jersey? Yeah. No, no, that doesn't matter. No, no, nothing. You know, I don't want Barcelona players first of all. Okay, you can take Ayos or Perez then. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. Your team is disqualified. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, uh, I am <laughs> going to name. I am going to name my five-a-side team, and I have one goalkeeper, one defender, two midfielders, and one forward. Going by the rules of the game, the person in goal is Peter Schmeichel. Thank okay. you. Ah, oh. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Take my picks only. Take my picks. Okay. <laughs> in you know, defense. Of the current government award, you are disqualifying my team and taking my players only. Okay. <laughs> okay. In defense, I have uh, since there is a lack of a better player with the last team starting with S, I have Soyanshu. Are you center us? Thank you. <laughs> Chocolate is bitha na, toh matlab nahi lena hai. Midfield, I have of course Paul Scholes. Drop in the towel, I've just won it. Now, the other midfielder that I have is uh, a fantastic dribbler, uh, Nirmala Sitaraman. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually <laughs> it's actually David Silva. Since you spoke, Shiva spoke about uh, my the Indian government. I have a very aggressive attacker up front, uh, Amit Shah. <laughs> 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 But since he hasn't played professional football, I am going with Mohammed Salah. So it's Peter Schmeichel, Soyan Shu, David Silva, right. Paul Scholes, right. and Mohammed Salah. Very hmm. average so, team against mine. Yeah, no, that, that's a good team. But I'm surprised Sapre didn't go the usual United fanboy route, which one of a uh, listener of this podcast when we asked this question in obviously we weren't sitting with each other, but on another conference call like this, uh, Nikhil Shetty. He named Shai Michaels, Tam, Skol, Schweinsteiger, and Solzga. <laughs> I thought Safri would do exactly the same thing. <laughs> It is so convenient. You should have done that. Yeah, I mean, so we I would still be. probably beat that team that Shivram gave out, like for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, anyway, what will we do with these teams now? We'll uh, Safri no Schneider. We took him in our team of the decade. Yeah, what is this? But I had uh, only one midfielder option left, and I thought I'd take David Silva. No, Scholes was like a guarantee. Mm. Mm. He wants to build a losing team, na? The <laughs> buttload or whatever, backload or whatever. Uh, why are you talking? Your team is disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> Just like get me out of this conversation. Okay, so how do we do this? We're going to put our teams out on social media. Will that will it work that way? And then people get to Let's choose. Hope. <laughs> Let's hope yeah. it works that way. That's the only option left that we have. But yeah, yeah we'll so do all, that. All four teams, right? Like all four teams. The the oh, team with I, the te- yeah, the team with I, the team with S, the team with P that Sapri and I came up with, and the team with <laughs> P in quotes that you came up with. Okay. Yeah. So uh, at least agree. good, good two aside. Uh, मतलब it'll be a good round robin. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, but this was fun. Yeah, this has been going around. This is what we've been up to uh, during our break. Actually, no, we're not. You're not working, right? None of us are taking a break, no, from work. None of us. Everyone, no break, no, no break. So during, yeah, during our, yeah, the time that we would have spent, yeah, correct. We would have spent traveling, otherwise going to office. But now that we're sitting at home, we have come up with these five-a-side teams. Uh, so we take a break then. Considering I said break, now I want one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you yeah, a good, good that, tweet. Yeah. A good tweet I read, and that will mm-hmm. also support the fact that you want to take a break so early. It says when you're sit, you're working from home, right? You tend to be way more productive in your hours. So the only solution for you to not be tired at the end of a nine to five is to close earlier, so have lesser hours because you're more ah. productive in the hours. So I think I thought you were going to say the only solution for you not to be productive is to, you know, whatever. <laughs> like that would have been what? What are we? Are we are not on the we are not on the habit coach, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, if if you guys if you guys are feeling a bit bored, lonely, and alone at home, go listen to the Habit Coach. I'm sure that podcast will give you a lot more than we do in terms of I don't know mental, physical fitness when you're sitting at home. I don't know how much it will help for people who are lonely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think Karthik should listen yeah. to that once before he recommended. Yeah. The funniest part is now that our commute has gone away, and that is mm-hmm. when I used to consume a lot of podcasts. 
now i have repurposed those podcasts now i listen to them while i'm washing utensils yeah same yeah same version yeah. but different use so i i did right. the same thing shivram yesterday and then that earphone your piece that i have it fell into the bloody sink man like so mm, buy better earphones because. no i think i need to get better ears like that's the problem <laughs> <laughs> like better ears wow okay yeah <laughs> i think our podcast listeners also need new ears for that so we'll be right back after this quick break how many times have you motivated yourself to improve your sleep or lose weight or be more productive how many times have you failed hi my name is ashtin doctor tune into my show the habit coach podcast where we focus on creating small tiny habits to improve your life instead of those big impossible tasks so make listening to me a habit every monday wednesday and friday on the ivm podcast app or ivmpodcast.com or on your favorite podcasting app a very happy new year to our listeners here get it here she or kartik take another break lovely guys. lovely i want to meet the writer of that joke yeah yeah that would be yeah but welcome back to ashiki and the reason we're calling this ashiki is because the movie had uh, rahul roy and devika anand as uh, one hit wonder An- anu agarwal and anu agarwal who is devika anand i i don't know to be honest <laughs> and uh, anu agarwal has a protagonist in that movie and they only last in one film so guys who are the ones that you remember michu i mean michu is the obvious one he's the probably the one i think shivram is still laughing at what the hell was it i mean it's just make up names who is devika anand i want to know devika anand pikachu is a much better i'm going to google yeah, devika anand it seems like a legit name that sounds like a name that is no, it, it is it is it is a friend of mine actually like i don't she know why she is a friend of mine not it is a friend of yeah, mine yeah 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 she 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 is a friend uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you know what we say right about confidence we follow that during this podcast if you say anything with confidence it means it's true That's and we've done it we've done it quizzes <laughs> <laughs> no but nice, guys come nice. on quickly one yeah, season one me too me too i mean What? do we remember anything about him yeah he played in that did he wear number 9 did yes he, he did Yeah, yeah, see, I remember that. He <laughs> did oh, wear nice number person. nine, and uh, Harland actually had tagged himself in the picture yes. of his when yeah. he was young, and he uh, as, as Michu, and apparently he was a left footer, so his Harland. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm, yes, and he idolized uh, Michu. I mean, you can't blame anyone for idolizing Michu. He had a fantastic season, actually. Yeah, man. I Who's mean, what was it? something like 18 goals in that 20 2012 2013 season is debut season in the premier league with swansea of course if our listeners are too young and they haven't seen him go and look at his highlights on youtube i remember during that season he was an absolute star and suppose he got a spain call up now and that too in that spain side which was like the reigning world champions and the two time yeah. reigning european champions no yeah he did he did but, but i don't blame them 18 goals in a in a season breakthrough season for, for a club like swansea and a bunch of assists as well which we haven't counted i don't know the number of them but a bunch of assists he also supporting striker scored in the league cup final he was that but then he also played striker sometimes i think the sigurdsson had had left uh, swansea yeah. when uh, when michu came in so he, yeah. he filled in that void but brilliant player unfortunate that all these injuries uh, that he had after after that season could never just pick up yeah He won the he he scored in the he scored the league cup final also against Bradford. Oh, what that league cup final that year was Swansea versus Bradford. Sounds exciting, first. <laughs> but I will take that any day now. I yeah. Think the Bradford Bradford take a Swansea Bradford man. Yeah, yeah, but another one, another one. I thought was probably one season, and I know he's a lot more famous to be just clubbed as a one season wonder. But I think that's more with his popularity in terms of performances. Robinho, when he uh, joined Manchester City. Discount Ronaldinho. Yeah, discount Ronaldinho. Yeah, correct. He was no. He was the touted Except the next. Except he wasn't discount at all. He cost them a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he cost them. Trans- I, he was a record transfer for City back then. That last last minute last day transfer that mm-hmm. City had. And apparently, he was supposed to go to Chelsea. And the press con, he said, "Yeah, Chelsea made an offer, and I went to Chelsea." <laughs> and he said, "You mean Manchester?" Oh yeah, 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 I meant Manchester. Manchester. So, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, but I remember, I think in his uh, first game, he scored, I remember, the. I don't know, I can remember against who, but I know he scored a free kick in his first game and that was a really, really good free kick and he ended uh, that entire season with, as City's, as a top scorer for Manchester City, which was then their, their the start, I think it was under Mark Hughes and it was the yeah. start of their rise. Or was it under Sven? I think it probably under Sven Goran Eriksson and then Mark Hughes. In 2008, so I'm Mark guessing. Hughes. Yeah, so yeah. 2010, uh, Mark Hughes was asked to leave, right? Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't know. I don't know when Sven was also Sven Goran was also there in charge. I'm not sure. But anyway, he was he was a top scorer in the first season, and then it all just fell apart. He went back to Santos. He went to AC Milan. He had a then he went all over the place. I think he played in Qatar as well. And uh, I mean, uh, now there in is, Turkey. He's now in Turkey. Yeah, I think. And yeah, and and there is some pretty. He doesn't seem like. It seems like a pretty awful man because there is a case of sexual assault against him in Milan. And uh, if he comes to Milan, he will be probably be convicted for that. That's why he's... Uh, yeah, so I don't think Robinho is uh, is going to be close. returning to Italy anytime soon. Yeah, no, that's, that's true as well. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's true. But yeah, Robinho doesn't seem like a chap anyone should idolize or look up to. Kind of like all the other Brazilians, unlike all the other Brazilians around him, the likes of Ronaldinho, who's also in jail. Yeah. <laughs> the likes of Ronaldo, who, I don't know what he's up to these days, but I remember he was caught with, uh, who was he caught? He was caught with some prostitutes in some car in Brazil, I think, at some point of time after he retired. You were naming someone, some we should look up to, but you didn't name anyone. I'm saying they look up to Kaka. If you have to look up to a Brazilian, look up to Kaka. Look up to someone like a Philip Coutinho. He looks, he seems like a nice chap. Like a Coutinho. And Elano seems like a nice chap. Elano came to India. I was just going to say Elano. I was just going to say Elano. Yeah, and an interesting point there, Shivram, considering you mentioned Elano. Elano and I think Robinho would have played in that same Manchester City team in 2008. They would have played in the same team, yeah. They did, they did. I think, I think there was Joe as well, or the Brazilian. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Good, good one. Yeah. Oh, oh, City had some really bad players at one point. <laughs> <laughs> they also had uh, Arsenal reject, Bolton reject. <laughs> Name the player. Samir Nasri. He didn't get rejected by Bolton. I did buy or? No, man. Oh. No. Ooh. No idea. They blanked out. <laughs> Wait, I'll, I'll remember yeah, and maybe, tell you the... Maybe his name, his surname begins with P. That's why you don't know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> bad quizzer you are. Wait, yeah, but Sichu and Robinho do qualify for one season wonders. In the, in the Premier League, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah because Robinho did have some good uh, two or three seasons that he played at Madrid. Correct. Uh, Before he came to City. Won the title also, I think, on a couple of mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, in, in the Premier League, yeah. Now, the other next name on this list, now I, I, I feel bad about putting in there, Andy Johnson. Just simply because of his debut season where he came probably better than Vardy as well and scored 21 goals for a promoted side. I am sorry. I the only reason you feel bad is because he played for Fulham. Okay, yeah, yeah, and that he, reason you don't want well. him to be included in that list. My point with him is he's he's now he's a one goal every four game striker. It's like it's like all your other strikers these days. And I think to judge him, he had a pretty decent career at the end of it for Everton and for Fulham as well for whatever part. So I think just because he had that one crazy season, maybe yeah, he's did. not a one season wonder, but one of his seasons was wonderful. That's how we should put it. <laughs> very, nice. very nice. Yeah, I, I, I like how you're making the most of this free time that you have. <laughs> yeah, he has lot of free time, clearly. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, the other one, I think two more strikers, uh, Sivram, Benny Makati and Rocky Santa Cruz both played for Venkis. Or Rocky was it Santa before? Cruz, what a player, man. What a player. What a player. Yeah, he was good. Man, it's, we shouldn't be putting them on this list, yeah, I feel. Like, he's too yeah. good to be labelled a one-season wonder, Rocky Santa Cruz. Good. No? Rocky Santa Cruz also, no, when he went to Man City, actually, after that. Mm-hmm. He, yeah. he yeah. was at Blackburn when Mark Hughes was there, and then when Mark Hughes went Mark to Hughes City, moved. he got yeah. Rocky. Uh, ah, did he okay. do well, Rocky Santa Cruz there. And he came from Bayern Munich, I think. Mm. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Right, I think they, who did they sign? Claudio Pizarro is who I think Bayern signed is so limited chances for this guy. He came to Blackburn, I don't know why. Okay. Uh, but okay. He, he had a lovely season he had. Uh, but yeah, I think he qualifies as a one-season wonder. Because but he did check. Around him, no? check is, is Morton Gams Pedersen a one-season wonder? No, his, he was around throughout. He was always very middling with his left foot on all the seasons he's that he a, played in. He's a one-season wonder. <laughs> no, he's like a six and a half on ten 
every game so yeah 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 but benny makati the reason i felt sad for putting him there was he had that awesome season at blackburn just before rocky yeah. santa cruz came in the season before yeah but I don't want to put him there because he's a Champions League winner. In 2004, he won that bloody title, the Champions League with Porto. With Porto, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he scored two against United and knocked. Yeah, them. yeah. When Mourinho <laughs> went on that amazing <laughs> run, make it like. So <laughs> <laughs> United ka against Jita to achcha hi hoga. Yeah. So, but do we have anyone else who is like who's just been I, starring for a I, season? I actually had one, Asamo Gyan. He had a oh, whatever decent yeah. World Cup. Then he played one season for Sunderland, and then he went to the Middle East. Also, can we look at one season wonder managers? I think I have a couple of examples there. But okay. David Boyce doesn't qualify, na? No? It has to be full season. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one season. Okay, this is not one season blunders that we're talking about. Not one season blunders. <laughs> oh, we should do that next. One season blunders. One season blunders. Like, yeah. Yeah. We start with Boyce. <laughs> followed by Mourinho. Langal was two season blunders, dude. Correct, correct. So let me know what you guys think. I have two managerial candidates for one season wonders. Uh, first one is uh, Avram Grant. He came in when Mourinho left Chelsea. He was like not abused, but literally abused. Also, there were racist slurs against him. First Israeli national to manage in the Premier League and all of that. Plus the players were against him, but he did a good job. He he did two great things. One is like Mourinho he had a full season unbeaten at Stamford Bridge but unlike Mourinho he took Chelsea to the Champions League final yeah. and then after all of that he was asked to leave he went to another Premier League club as director of football i think oh, okay. so and the other for me is uh, Andres Villas boss i was just going to say avb wow yeah, not he had both seasons at Chelsea and at uh, Tottenham Tottenham actually did better because I think yeah. he finished with what or seventy seventy three seventy two odd okay, points, no, which is a so that's always good. No, but of course back then, <laughs> uh, but this was I think a record point that Spurs ever made. But uh, he is the guy who sold Bale and uh, got Eriksen in. He got some yeah. five six places and then he left the club. I don't know what was wrong with that management. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, he was managing for thirty three, thirty four. He was. He yeah, was, young, right. really young. He came from Porto. I think Chelsea thought this is the next Mourinho. We'll yeah. get him in. He's good. Yeah, I'm going to stick up for Andres Villas' boss because after after you, I mean, he did have tough times after what you've mentioned. Both two good starting seasons at both Chelsea and Tottenham. But currently for Marseille, he's doing well for them. They're second in Liga, which is what any club can hope for with Paris Saint Germain in this in the in the same league. So I think he's doing a fair. Yeah, I mean that's the only thing people can hope for now nah, with PSG there. Yeah. You are you are fighting for that second slot. So he's Marseille are currently second. So I think he's and he's young, like you said, like he's he's damn young. He's still probably early forties or just starts forty or something like that, early forties. And uh, yeah, I mean he has a full twenty-year career ahead of him. So I think Andre Villas Boas, uh, he still he'll still be around in the game if the game continues after a few months. I I, I have one 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 thing to say, but. We've been talking about one-season wonders. We mentioned a few one-season blunders. I know one half-season wonder who came in during January. Okay, Sapre, mm. and he scored these four goals in one match. I think was it against Liverpool? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, yeah. He scored yeah, these so four he goals. Scored, yeah. Yeah. Andre Ashawin. I mean, he, was, he also yeah. scored against Barcelona. Don't forget. Yeah, yeah, all in that same half season. I'm sure he scored all. His <laughs> <laughs> what what Igal what what Igalo is to United is what Arshavin was to Arsenal. Young Arsenal fan as a boy, he was an Arsenal fan, right, Shiva? There's yeah, a picture of him in Wenger. Up, yeah, he grew up uh, idolizing Wenger and wanting to play for the club. Yeah. And also, yeah, yeah, yeah. while we're talking about half season, let's bring it even smaller. Let's talk about one game wonders. Makeda, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Makeda was actually two game wonders. He scored oh, sorry, sorry. in back to back games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Asinola and then Sunderland. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Although, nice. Shivram, the Sunderland game ended up in a draw, by the way. They didn't <laughs> so nice. win that Asinola game. One, one game under <laughs> so, he, so he won four he points for United in two games. He scored the winner. He, he got four points for United in two games. That's more than, than the current squad. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah, yeah. But anyone else do we have? I thought for Papi C say, remember him at Newcastle, him and Demba Ba, they formed one of the best strike forces that I've seen what this decade in the Prem. He scored against Chelsea. Chelsea, dude, that was a screamer. Yeah. 
mad so that was i don't think he knew where it was going yeah. just yeah. took a whack it just called over i don't remember who was in goal then i think it was just peter check peter check yeah peter check yeah, yeah so rolled hmm. over and check had no idea Yeah, yeah. So about Papi Cisse as well. So I think Newcastle, even now, but at that point also they had a gambling sponsor, and uh, Papi Cisse said that. Uh, as, yeah, I I don't know what it was. Wonga, I think was it Wonga? I'm not sure. No, I think it was bet something or other idiot. Huh? Okay, so but then he was he was like I, I I can't my my religion does not permit me to wear gambling oh, sponsors. Oh yeah, I remember this. <laughs> and then the week later he was pictured inside a casino. <laughs> <laughs> पापी पापी से है ये तो डजेंट हाशिम आमला ऑल्सो नॉट वेयर कासल वेयर देर अलाउड नॉट टू वेयर स्पॉन्सर लोगोज वेन दे प्ले फॉर साउथ अफ्रीका आई मीन बोथ बोथ एव रिटायर्ड नाउ सो या बट देन एंड पापी सी से ऑल्सो हैज टू वाइव अपेरेंटली विदाउट देम नोइंग ऑफ इच अदर दैट वॉज अनदर थिंग दैट केम आउट इन द ब्रिटिश इट इज ऑल देयर आई रीड अ लॉट ऑफ द सन एंड द डेली मेल ओके सो इट्स बेसिकली द रिपब्लिक ऑफ प्रिंटेड वर्जन Do you accept yeah. cookies? Yes, of course I accept cookies. <laughs> Follow me everywhere. Sign up. He logs in and says, "Allow notifications." Of course. How else will I know? <laughs> yeah. But uh, more one season wonders. I thought there'll be a lot more, but turns out people have actually done well in their careers. If they've been average, they've been average throughout. If they've been bad, they've been jamba jamba bad throughout. If they've been good, <laughs> they've always become better. Yeah. So, so bad the name. So nice the name name twice. <laughs> I couldn't rhyme anything with so bad. So bad they he was rad on the football oh, field God, <laughs> going mad. Yeah, sorry. Let's stop. Let's, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Do we have any more sapre? Any more from your end? Bro, no, no. Yeah. This has become an official call. Guys, let's take this offline. No, I think no, we'll no, I don't this have offline. Yeah, yeah. I don't have, have any. Yeah. Should we do the quiz now? Should we do the quiz now? Or should we push it for next week? Is what I'm I thinking. I am always happy to do it next week. Yeah, no, let's, let's do, do it, it now. Let's, let's do you it now. You want to do it now? You want to do it now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's do this right now then. Okay, quickly. Okay, and over oh, here, I'll start with one. You can't interrupt the other person's answer. Okay. Okay. It's uh, Sapre. It starts with you. What was? How well we've been covering the Premier League season 2019-20. We've had this podcast throughout. Now I want to know how well you all remember it. Okay. This okay. season, only this season. Sapre, what was the biggest win of this season? Uh. Leicester versus Southampton 8-0. Rob, okay. I'll go next. Okay. I'll go next. Yes. Leicester versus Southampton 9-0. Aha, uh-huh. it was was it 9-0 or 9-1? Yes, 9-0. 9-0. Okay, fine. So I South, win. Sivram, no, it was what, what was it? I don't know the answer. So you know. Leicester versus Southampton 9-0. So Leicester Southampton the right answer. Okay, so okay. then Sivram, Sivram gets the point for this because uh, why would Sivram get the yes. point? For this? Because you said yes. 8-0, yes. na? I said Leicester Southampton. No, no. Acha, no, okay. Both of you. No, wait. Both of you will take one point, but Shivram gets the next question, so that Shivram gets that extra point. You get to keep your point. Okay. Yeah. Hey, okay. We'll put it. To, let's push it to next week. Your team is disqualified. <laughs> your team is disqualified. I will take your goalkeeper. Shivram, who is the current top goal top goal scorer? Jamie Wardy. Correct. So, uh, Sapre, how many goals does he have? If if you do if you don't know the number of goals, it's fine. I'm going to still ask you the. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The first question that you asked me had the team and the score line. So now Shiva has to answer the score, the, the number of goals also Wardy has scored. You had the score oh, line also correct. So no, Shiva, Shiva was nine zero. Nine zero. Okay. Ah, uh, Jamie Wardy. Next question. Okay. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Let me think. Oh. You're not thinking. You're looking into your damn phone. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think. You are on a video call, Shiva. Twenty-one goals. Twenty-one goals. No, he, he has nineteen goals. goals in the season currently. So, Arre, capital one is also included. What is okay. Right? Okay. So you are both at one-one now. I'm not giving you that But point, you Shiva. Right? So, though, you, you then, then you question. you shouldn't have answered right. which. Okay, this is for uh, Sapre. Which uh, which letter of the English alphabet has the most teams in the Premier League currently? Letter or letters? There are two. Like, Whichever oh, one, Sapre names, Shivram has to name the other. So both of you all can think. I'll go first. M. No, no. Which letter? M. That's the wrong answer. Uh, Shivram, you get to. An- yeah, you get to answer. A is also wrong. Both of you all get one, one more. Both answers are wrong. S. No, no, no. This is next question. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It's very simple. R. No, man. Think little. B, B. Oh my God. 
Correct. B is one. Shivram, what's the other? Or you can name the three clubs with B. That's your other option. Bournemouth. Correct. Uh, right, right in. Uh, I thought it was me who is going to answer this. Why oh, Shivram? No, no, I, I'll give you. You'll get a chance for extra points, Afre. Relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Achha, okay, okay, okay. Burnley. Mm-hmm. Hey, I answered answer Burnley. Man? Why is he? Hey, this is not your question. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. <laughs> this is not meant for you. No, oh, this was actually. This was meant for Shivram, so Shivram gets that point because you gave him the answer, unfortunately. But hey, you, but but, the, but you get you get part two of the question, which Shivram does not is which was the other letter that also has three teams. He's looking at his phone. I can see. <laughs> but <laughs> it's, <laughs> uh, S S S S is wrong. Shivram, do you have the answer? Hey, Southampton, Sheffield United. Ah, that's two. Which has three teams? They're wrong. Apre, back to you. You are going to complete the English language now. This is <laughs> change the oh question. Oh my God! A, it's, a. It's, it's W man W. Now, which oh one of y'all can name West me Ham. the three teams? Correct. West, West Ham. Ham. Then, then West fast. Bull. Yeah, Bull. Yes. Bull. 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 Okay. Shivram gets one point. So you are you are both at two two. No. I got first point also. So I am three two. No, but then you no, got no, minus two in the previous question. Also. In the letter, you didn't get, na. You didn't get the letter only. So I got nine uh, zero. I got JD uh-huh. Hardy, and I got this uh-huh. one. Ah, uh, so but uh, Sapre got how many now? Sapre got, got no, but he got the match in the first one, Leicester. Okay. He got the match. Then he got the team which has the the letter of the team. So Correct. two points then. Two points. Ah uh, no, but then letter was very tough, so that he, he because he got that he gets one <laughs> extra <laughs> point. So Eva, everybody knows you don't read the rules, right? <laughs> no, that's just socialist, move ahead. socialist quiz. Yeah. You should announce at the start. Okay, Shivram, this is for you now. Okay, hmm. who is currently fifth in the table? Sheffield. Wrong answer. Sapre. Man United. Man United. Okay, Shivram, who is currently sixth in the table? Yeah, I keep one point, but yeah, you do, you do, you do, you do, you do, you do. Yeah, okay. Tottenham. <laughs> who is current? Tottenham. That's wrong. It was Sheffield. Tapre leads four three. Tapre leads four three now. Tapre can Tapre seventh is I think Tottenham then Arsenal eighth. That's so how Tottenham, it is. Yeah. Get half point. No, that, that, the next question doesn't come to seven. <laughs> Only till six it goes. <laughs> okay, now Tapre, you get a chance to extend your lead. Who has the most assists currently in the Premier League? Kevin De Bruyne. Very good. Sapre is leading five three. Shivram, if you want an extra point, you can tell me the number of assists because nobody is going to get minus on this. Huh. But if you I want that say... extra point, oh, uh, guess okay, eleven. No, no, that Trent Alexander Arnold has twelve. De Bruyne has sixteen. Oh shit! I was just about to say sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Now, Shivram, question for you: Who has the most clean sheets in the Premier League today, as it stands? Oh, uh, I'll tell you. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Yeah. Very good. No, no, wrong. Sapre gets a minus one as well. Why are you out of the wrong answers? Why is it minus? Wait, wait. No, no. Okay, Nick Pope. Nick Pope is minus the correct answer with eleven. Question, question ends there. Yeah, yeah. Question ends there. Shivram, you get a chance to extend your lead. Who is the current fourth in the Premier League? Who is the current fourth in the Premier League? Who is the current fourth in the Premier League? Who is the current fourth in the Premier League? Who is the current fourth in the Premier League? Who is the current fourth in the Premier League? Who is the current fourth in the Premier League? Who is the current fourth in the Premier League? Who is the current fourth in the Premier League? Who is the current fourth in the Premier League? Now it now it gets even tougher. Who has the most yellow cards in the Premier League this season? And give a clue at least. Yeah. Okay, a clue is he plays for Chelsea. Jorginho. Ah, oh, but Shivram answer out of turn, so I'm going to cancel that question, and nobody <laughs> gets a point for that. Sorry, I had audio issues. Jorginho. But I should just shut up. But nobody gets a point for that. It's still five four. But now Shivram, this is your turn. Hey, but Ooh. I lost the chance to earn a point, na yar. But so by, by, by the question correct, but, then he gets half a point. Okay, but by the expression on your face, you had absolutely no idea that no it was. I have a screen freeze, okay, sir. Screen freeze, okay. Of course, of course, of course. So Shivram, this is your chance to come level, okay? And this hmm. this question is right in your alley, okay? Ooh, Name awesome. the team. Name the team with the most yellow and red cards in the Premier League. You can just repeat what you just said. You Arsenal. answered before. Yes, the Arsenal has the most yellow. <laughs> wow. मतलब मतलब आंसर ही बता देते ना सीधा तो 
बट ही वॉज फॉलोइंग इज ट्रेंड ऑफ आंसरिंग बिफोर ओनली एंड गॉट इट राइट एज यूजल अगेन Correct. Okay, but now I have a, because it's five five, and I conveniently made oh, it five five. Five. It's fine. Oh, he got. Right, he was four. Right. He was four five, and he made it five five. Oh, right. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Arey, I have a tie. I have a tiebreaker question here. Yeah. I mean, come on, you can't go without the tiebreaker question. Who has the most right foot shots in the Premier League or something? No. So we <laughs> no. So we know the PFA Player of the Manager of the Month. Yeah. Well, Klopp has won it almost every month. Okay. Yeah. And whoever shouts out the answer first, I'm going to give it to. Klopp has won it almost every month. Sean Dyche surprisingly won it in February. Name the only other manager to win it this season, apart from Klopp. No. Ole. No. Uh, uh, Ole. Sheffield, Sheffield guy, Sheffield United manager. That is not the answer, bro. It's not the answer, no. Oh, I think no, what? Uh, Dean Smith is his name? No, Dean Smith is Aston Villa. Oh, come on, you guys can't. These are managers. Just look at the list of. No, it's not them. No. <laughs> Who else? No, which guy? Oh not my Nuno God! Sir. Not Farka. Not uh, Nuno Gomez. No, none of them. <laughs> not Nuno Gomez. No, Nuno Espirito Santos. Yeah. Yeah. Ancelotti. I don't know. No, no, no. Come on. We are not out of managers. He was the, one Brighton, of the greatest. Brighton. He was one of the greatest players Lampard. the Premier League. Really? Yes. yes, Lampard is the answer. Chivram takes I it. I said Lampard <laughs> earlier. I said Lampard oh, earlier. Yesterday, yesterday you said it's fine. Are what goes wrong with you guys? It's fine. It's fine. Frozen. You watch Frozen. Let it go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Full yeah. cheating. This is. Uh, okay, I mean, because there is controversy. Obvious. Controversy to end it. I don't know. I don't. I didn't hear your Lampard. I don't think you said Lampard. He never said. Why is why this quiz is has to be void? Over, over, over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like my disqualified team, your side is also disqualified. You're out. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> good. Hey, guys, corona, man. Corona, nahi hota. Main tere ghar pe aake jab ko mar ke jab. Corona, it's time. It's time. Ashi ki time. Ashi ki time. Show some love. Show some love. There's no, there's no winners and losers here. Like, actually, there are no winners here. There are only. If you're listening till this point, right? If you, if you're, if you're actually listening to this podcast right now till this stage of the podcast, you need to evaluate a lot of things about your life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cool, cool. Let's end it at that note. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this was Ashiki. Yeah, hope you guys had a blast. We'll keep doing this week on week. We'll be back next week again for thirty-five. We'll be back the week after for thirty-six. We'll do a lot more fun stuff. No, Sapre, like this only. I don't know if I want to be participating. <laughs> <laughs> loser, loser. Okay. loser. Favoritism is happening. Open favoritism is happening. One thing is called favoritism. It is not favoritism. <laughs> oh, freeze! Oh, yeah, freeze! Freeze! Oh, yeah. <laughs> freeze it, Tizam. <laughs> so, if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IBM Network. You can listen to us on the IBM Podcast app or ibmpodcast dot com. You can also follow us on our social media. We are at IBM Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am Fickleberry Han on Twitter and Instagram. That's Huckleberry Finn, but Fickle. And if you want to reach out to me, I am Sapre on Twitter and G Sapre on Instagram. You can reach out to me at I Rant, which is I Y E R A N T on Twitter and Instagram. This is football. Should ball recognize? Hi guys, this is Ayushi and I am Ritasha, and welcome to Agla Station Adulthood. It's a fun podcast we've got going on, and we'd love for you to tune in and enjoy with us. Join us as we stop at various stations and discuss different topics that seem to be bothering us, and hopefully Dating, you as well. Dating, relationships, beauty, just being an adult—lots of different things. We don't have a great grip on it, but we've done okay so far. Catch Agla Station Adulthood every Thursday on the IBM app, the IBM website, or wherever else you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Satyajit. Hi, I'm Racheta. We are from the Open Library Project, and we host a podcast called Paperback. Paperback is a podcast where we engage with stalwarts and experts from various industries, suggesting non-fiction titles that contributed to their journey in a big way. We've had guests like Anjali Rana, Dr. Marcus Rani, Dr. Swati Loda, Ambi Parmeswaran, Apurva Damani, and many more on our show Paperback. Find new episodes every Wednesday on IVM Podcast app, website, or wherever you listen to podcasts.